Greetings, dear ladies and others. <laughs> I'm crying of magnetic service. This entire channel is one that celebrates you have a change from winter to spring. That happens every year, dear ones. So you might say it's nice to celebrate it, but it's an often occurring event. So what is what is it? that Ukraine would have to say about this today. And I'm going to tell you very little. It's about the metaphor for this year at this point. You celebrate something that I have started to talk about you may not have heard of. Going from winter to spring pretty obviously it would be a desirable thing. And you look forward to it. And things blossom and the snow goes away and it becomes warmer and more pleasant and you have fun. All of that. In our case, it symbolizes an awakening of something we're going to call the power of life. For those old souls who are listening and watching. I want to ask all of you, what do you have that might be new? What is it you've learned that it's changed your life? Well, I'm going to give you something in additional to everything you've learned. Perhaps that Lemurian Akash of yours is becoming active for the first time. That's all part of this. But there's more. Perhaps you started peeling the onion and we we have spoken of that before where you start to to let some of the pre-programmed ideas you've had all your life slough away. And there's a revelation that perhaps things are bigger than you've told or better than you've told or different than you've been told. But it's bigger than that. Some months ago. I told anyone listening that there's something going on. There is an enhancement of your DNA. And the enhancement is worldwide. It's on purpose. It's time. It's scheduled for the shift. If you got here and you did. But it involves an action item. What we have said is that. The 24th pair of chromosomes that you have that you don't think you have is now being activated with intent by all those who wish it. You think you have 23, you have 24. That last pair has always been there ready to join the shift. When this planet had more light starting to appear on it when it was time. When the precession of the equinox occurred where the magnetic grids had moved. When the Lemurian teaching had begun. That is when that 24th pair became activated. But it doesn't sit there activating by itself. It's like a planter who takes a beautiful seed and plants it in the ground and said this is different. I want it to grow. That's the intent it takes for every single one of you. But so many of you have. And that's why you're watching this. Many of you are aware of this because I've spoken about it before. And here you sit. Because of that activation, because you planted those seeds, dear ones, I will tell you something. Your esoteric blueprint, fingerprint, energy print, whatever you want to call it, on this planet has become larger. I'm going to call it the power of life. Because your life means more to this planet, to the scenario of your time with others, than ever before. It's almost like you've been enhanced by your own judgment and your own choices to accomplish more than you ever thought you could. 
And it's in so many ways, the accomplishments for yourself, for others, for the partnership with the planet, for the environment. But when you combine this with the energy of your light, your Lemurian Akash, now you have a special kind of soul on the planet, an enhanced one. You have taken a piece and a part of your divinity and enhanced it to the degree that you really truly are a way shower on the planet if you choose to be. You're coming out of the winter of the old negative energies of the planet into the, to the spring of a new age. The spring, if you want to say, of a returning Lemurian age where the information starts to show itself to return in a glorious fashion through you. This is what is truly new on the planet that will then enhance itself through your lineage. And there will be those who will take this and it will grow. And there'll come a time when almost everyone on the planet has heard the word Lemuria. They may not remember but they'll be aware and that is coming. And in that there will be a return of the core truth in a more substantial way than ever before. A return of the idea that women should be shamans. A natural idea, an intuitive idea that has not yet occurred on the planet but will. You are the forerunners of that. And in this, I am telling you that you are more powerful. Your life force means more now than it ever has before. The idea of this going from winter to spring, the metaphor means more than it did last year, much more. Because this time, at this point in time, during the shift, you mean so much more to the planet than you did even last year. Because what is taking place? I want you to think about this. Don't you feel it? Why are you here? Why are you even listening to this? What have you invested your time into lately that might tell you you are changing and that things are changing on the planet? I would like each of you to take a moment and think to yourselves, I am a child of Lemuria. My Akash at some level resounds with the information, whether it was directly given when you were there or inherited from those who were there. Because this is passed on to you. What are you feeling about this? Don't you feel the awakening? There is so much more to give you. But I think that you will you'll be able to glean almost all of it from that which is inside you, which is starting to awaken, which is starting to remember, and move into a place where the seeds are growing and the flowers are coming up, the flowers of enlightenment, of healing, of relationships and abundance, and all of the things that you've asked for as an old soul in wisdom. Dear ladies and others, this truly is your time. I would love you to sit there and celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. I'm crying in love with humanity, in love with you. And so it is. <laughs>